Hey, what's happening, spider friends? You requested it. It's time for Miles Morales, Ultimate Spider-Man. Number dos, amigos. So Ultimate Spider-Man number two, the guy who took up the mantle of Spider-Man after the death of Peter Parker in the Ultimate Comics. Okay. And you can see we have a viral trial going on. So we're going to take a look at this. Vile trial. Vile trial. Whatever. It's, I never they're... pronounce anything like Whatever. last episode. This is, this is going viral because they're, they're vile. It's, it's a viral trial Ugh. to us. Yeah, exactly. Small prince. Curse you. So uh, I've already collected some stuff and that's how I'm kind of increasing my currency, which are the vials. Happy. <laughs> These little yellow Don't things. Don't you need the vials? The... <laughs> <laughs> Viral, vials filled with virus maybe. No, that wouldn't be good. Well, I mean, they are. All this stuff is radioactive. I mean, yeah, I wouldn't. Probably. Yeah, I wouldn't put it past no, them. No, I have mispronounced things as everyone knows. So Come on, I mean, think about it. They're collecting isotopes and they're doing all this other stuff. Yep. All right, all right. So people want to know about Miles. I don't know that much. All I know is he replaced uh, Peter Parker after he was killed by the Green Goblin, and he works with the female. Peter Parker clone, ultimate ah, uh, Spider Woman. And it's impossible. She's uh, he is actually part of uh, her team, and then he's later part of a group called the Young Ultimates. How can there be a clone of Peter Parker that's a girl? It makes no sense. Okay, fine. It's comics. It's not science. Right. Although that would never happen in science. So, yeah. Oh, we missed the gold guy. Oh, no. No isotope for it's you. It's over. No, it's not. Okay, it's not. Fine. It's far from right, over. So this is actually one of the... Yeah, there we go. Yeah. We got one. This is one of the most requested characters that I've seen. So I figured after the Anansi episode... <laughs> Cubs fan. No. Uh, we would go and look at Miles Morales. I really do like the Cubs. Sadness. They don't... I, I just... I... I, uh, I'm hanging my head in shame. This this guy uh, got spider powers a little bit different than Peter, and also he has different powers than Peter Parker. He doesn't have the same spider powers. Yeah, he's one of the first suits that actually looks like he could really be a spider with that red thing kind of like on his back and the rest of him is black. Oh my gosh. Well, the costume was actually made for him by female Peter Parker clone. Oh, okay. Shocking, right? Shocking. That was a shock to the system. Yeah, that was, that, that was, he couldn't take it. He was like, uh, another I, A plus run for this awesome hero. I, I'm sorry. I'm just trying to stay current with things. Oh, current. <laughs> oh. Uh, this, this is wow. Good. All right. So we have two days left of the clone hunter, but we're going to go fight Santa Claus again. Ho, ho, ho. Because, yeah, yeah, he's evil. You may have held your own against my children. I will shatter your bones and then drain your life force. For you and until you're nothing but a withered husk. Haha, uh -huh, you can't read. So, you must be soulless. Has anyone told you? Okay, I thought you were going to do it. No, I'm just, just messing with you. We've already covered this <laughs> in a previous episode. Your only shows your foolishness. Skip. I just wanted to, you know, make you sweat. It's... Oh. <laughs> Enter Santa fair. Claus. You just had the words there, then looked at me. I just uh, put me on the spot. Amber, there. read. No. No. Collect vials. Reading. Just read all the words I could see. These vials are so vile. Ah. Oh, uh, uh, wow. Wow. I just. I, oh, he, he found it. Hilarious. Santa loved it. <laughs> see, Santa loves me. Even if he's evil. Santa laughs at anything. He's always jolly. He doesn't laugh at Atkins, though. <laughs> One of these days, they're going to get sued by Atkins. They're going to be like, hey, why don't you try our product? It's like, what do you want me to die? I'm already, like, a scarecrow. I'm going to, yeah. Yeah, but I think you were recommending it for Santa, not you. Oh, okay. So that was actually a good thing, then. Yeah. Well, I mean, you can actually just do the Atkins diet. Act eh, Atkins diet on your own. You don't actually have to buy their products. You can just go by their philosophy, which is like eating no carbs and eating only protein. Santa didn't like their philosophy. <laughs> this is this is evil He's brother like, of Santa. Yeah, Santa, that would be meaning that you would not be allowed to eat any cookies at all until you lost the weight. He's like, no, I need my cookies. Why does it sound like Peter? It's not Peter under the mask. 
Oh. He's doing an impression of Peter. It's a pretty good impression. <laughs> it's amazing. Mayo should become a celebrity, <laughs> like a little impressionist. Totally. But no, um, one thing I do remember about the, because I did read some of Ultimate Spider-Man 2. Uh, Miles had his mom killed. He quit being Spider-Man just like Peter gave up being Spider-Man a couple times. Although Jessica would actually go and talk to him and be like, you know, you need to be Spider-Man. The world needs Spider-Man. And then he's like, well, you're kind of Spider-Man. And she's like, well, it's complicated. It's like, of course it's complicated. You're a female clone of a dude. That's, wow. Yeah. That, that adds all kinds of questions. <laughs> so, but. Yeah, it's just like, how did that even happen? Because it's impossible. All right. Now, I can understand it if Jessica had the memories of Peter Parker and she was just some regular girl that somehow got maybe his powers. They just, maybe they just, um, maybe he has everything the same except for, like, the chromosomes. They just switched it so she'd be a girl. All right, let's continue. Okay. I don't know. Science! So, yeah, Miles, he's pretty cool, though. And, uh, I remember one thing that I saw, I believe it's called, um, the regular Marvel Universe is called 616, or 616. Mm -hmm. That Peter Parker, who's much, much older, like 30s or whatever, somehow ends up in the Ultimate Universe. Ow. Aww. Dropped some knowledge on you and then smacked into he the... He was sad because you said 30s and he's 30. No, he's not 30. He's like oh, okay. 15, 16. But anyway, he shows up and uh, he and Miles kind of fight a little bit because he's like, you're supposed to be dead, but you're much older. And at the end, they're all like buddies, you know. But uh, he goes to see Aunt it's May and Mary Jane and Gwen. Everyone doesn't like each other at the beginning, and then they're friends. Yep. That's, or the New 52. That's how Marvel storylines go. New 52. And New 52. That's right, because we can't leave them out. Who is now copying off of Marvel. So we're going to claim this. And <laughs> <laughs> I can I don't even want to read the comments. I'm like, ah, flame war. Uh, okay. Marvel, if Marvel versus DC, Stan Lee would win. <laughs> he would win. He'd come out on top of everyone. He would win. All right, so this guy appeared in Ultimate Comics Spider-Man number five. Miles Morales was bitten by a spider enhanced with a re recreation of the same formula that made Spidey. And he did some crazy stuff, blah, blah, blah. It was only after witnessing the death of Peter at the hands of the Green Goblin that Miles realized with great power comes great responsibility. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is Miles Morales. Bye bye. See ya.